What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Going to be running into another live arena video for you today. So, let's go back in here, just take a look at my Armands. He's actually a monster, so if you haven't been utilizing him, utilizing him, you should be utilizing him right away. Uh, I recommend putting a at least a one turn stone skin on him if you can help it. You could also, if you don't have good stone skin pieces, you could also potentially do an immunity set. Um, you could also do the set from the Scarab boss, which I believe is also immunity, but just like a different form of immunity. It is, where is it at? Untouchable. So it's immunity plus resistance, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you're going to want to look for speed and accuracy for him as compared to speed and resistance. But having the resistance is also nice, too, because you're going to have the immunity. And then a little bit of resistance is good on him because he could get polymorphed. But if you have champions, or if you're going up against champions that have less than a five star blessing, then you might not be able to get polymorphed if they don't have high accuracy on those champions. For example, like a Duchess or other champs like a CV that you just wouldn't put accuracy on to begin with. So yeah, just a recommendation if you don't have stone skin gear or you could just go straight up as fast as possibly as possible with uh, perception gear here. You want to go for speed. You want to go for accuracy rolls on your gear here. I haven't even rolled these two pieces up yet, but I did recently uh forge them so just haven't done it yet i'm waiting for the next artifact enhancement event that's why you can see that my gear on him is level 15 so level 15 here as well and 15 here too of course these are not going to give additional accuracy stats just more survivability stats with hp and hp here with maybe some hp percent hopefully at the end and not attack flat that'll be helpful and then when this one maxed out, it's going to give me more accuracy by about 22 more. So right now we are at 415 accuracy, 22 more, 437 accuracy, which is not bad. I haven't completed his masteries yet, but I will be going with Eagle Eye. So that's 10 plus 20 when he has no skills on cooldown and then another 50. So you're looking at a minimum of 60 accuracy on top of that. So that's about 500 accuracy when all said and done. And then of course, if I go with Lore of Steel, We'll get a little bit more speed as well because of the perception sets and a little bit of accuracy. We should get accuracy. So we'll hit about 500 plus on the accuracy. And then, of course, I need to farm Sand Devil. Sand Devil is going on right now. So you should be going into Sand Devil trying to farm as much as you can because we also have the Prism Crystals going on right now, too. So Sand Devil turn attack. This is the kind of the time you want to go for this. Of course, be mindful with your resources. If you want to conserve your resources because you're going for the five star Armand Soul, then yes, conserve your resources. Don't go for this crystals and, you know, don't fall for sinking all sinking all of your resources into Sand Devil. You don't need to do that unless you have the resources to do so. Because we have Dungeon Divers and things like that going on. Because, for example, for me, I still haven't completed Dungeon Divers. I'm close. I should be fine. Once I complete Dungeon Divers, I can sink a lot of my resources into sand devils potentially get crystals for one pop here and then go from there so the summon pool is pretty good though kaimar newt nekmothar harima of course staltus is good nishak's good as well more he's definitely a roundabout champion but he's not top tier for live arena once you get into the higher gold tiers because of everybody using a marichka or just using cleansers uh, Korgar is okay. I, I wouldn't say he's that strong in live arena. I don't really see him very often at all. And then outdated Bad Elkazar. I do have two of them on my account. Elva's very strong. Knocked the Paralyzer is pretty strong. But again, if you already have a good Poisoner, if you already have someone who can sleep, then there's no point in getting knocked. I mean, he's still a strong champion. I'm not going to say he's bad. He's definitely really strong. And he can probably solo content too for dungeons. Low level dungeons. And then you've got this guy, Iron Brago, really outdated champion, but he's still really strong for clan boss. And then Theodore is just insane for soloing content. Valkyrie is also insane for hard mode Fire Knight and just general content. Uh, Cupidus is great, but he's better on paired with Venus. So he's still a strong champion on his own. The epics, nothing crazy. We do have an epic here, Lady Quillen. I'm pretty sure for she's for uh, the Mikage fusion. We've also got Creodan, really strong for... The hard mode Fire Knight, Ugo insane for Hydra, you know, general progression champions. This guy's also for Makage, I believe, Ulfrig. And then any other Makage champions here? 
I think Enda Moonbeam is also for Makage. I can't check Makage because I already fused her to see which champions you require. But yeah, I mean, is is if you get lucky and you get 30 of these crystals, and even if you were to just get a an epic and you happen to land on one of the epics for the fusion for Makage, that's huge, honestly, for anybody's account. So if you really want to push for Sand Devil's turn attack, then do it. But just make sure you're not trying to lose all your resources, just waste all your resources in there just for one epic that you might not even get the right epic. So just be mindful of that. Um, other than that, Soul Stones, I've got 20 save for Immortals, 2 Immortals, and uh, the Ancient Shards, 98, 35 Voids, 1 Sacred. We do also have a crazy event going on. I believe it's tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check this. I don't think it's in here. Yeah, it's not in here. So we do have Sifi or rather uh, Taras Marichka, I believe for tomorrow for the 10x or progressive chance during the CVC. So maybe if you have tons of void shards saved, you want to go for Taras Marichka. This is your best chance to get them because they're not featured in guaranteed events typically. But I might save my own per shards personally. Uh, of course, different tiers here just depends on where you're at for tiers. Personal rewards as well, which are insane. I would need to get 400,000 for my clan. Are we really in tier six? There's no way. We were in tier three and we only scored like 3 million points to win. If we're in tier six, that's kind of wild. I don't think so, but then again, who knows? We'll find out soon enough, right? All right, let's hop into Live Arena. Let's get some wins. Armand's is a beast. Yesterday I went, uh, let's see, six for 10. So not too bad. I mainly lost to people that were faster than me, right? So with Armand's, the only reason why I lose is because they're just straight up faster with Sifi. Uh, or they got Kaimar to sleep us with uh, Lockout. So a lot of times I'll lose with Armand's from Lockout. Uh, that's how you kind of can counteract him and beat him. But let's see how we do today. Hopefully we can get some dubs, continue on the road to Quintus here, and Rage Ferrets. Interesting. Interesting. Ferrets are honestly pretty disgusting. I mean, in terms of cuteness, they look cute. But in terms of just how dirty they can be, pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. I've I've seen ferrets or people. I've had friends in the past who've had ferrets. Ugh, dude, they're so gross. Like how much poop they have all over the place and they roll around in it. Oh my God, it's so nasty. I don't know. I apologize if you're a ferret owner. And you uh, take offense to that, but you know, I'm sorry. They're just same thing with like, <laughs> I don't know, like uh, I can't own. I've had hamsters, I think, when I was younger. They're really small, also pretty gross if you think about it, because they just poop in their pen. You have to clean it constantly. Bunnies are also another one where they can get pretty dirty, but they clean themselves, right? They're like cats. But the thing is, they have easier to pick up poop because it's just like they poop on the ground and then you pick it up. It's just like little pellets of poop for bunnies. Not so bad, but personally, I'd rather stick to like a dog or a cat. Maybe a cat just because it's easier, right? But uh, dogs are also great. Man's best friend, right? He's got Leorius. He's got Marichka. This is a tough one already right off the bat. I mean, I might not even be able to CC the Marichka, especially since most Marichka are pretty fast and typically have high resistance. And they can cleanse as well. If he has Taras, I may have to consider banning Marichka. Um, hmm. If I go with Samson, I have to sheep Marichka, but the chances of sheeping her are slim because I have such low... Oh, Jesus. Plus four and plus four. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're definitely losing this one. Okay. Um. Wow. That's nuts. I can't go with speed. Well, well, that's absurd. Oh my goodness gracious. I kind of have to go for Samson. He's going to go with Arbiter last. He's going with double speed or he's going to go with lockout. And I'm just going to be absolutely screwed. Most likely lockout. I mean, plus four CV, plus four Rotos. Yeah, lockout as well. Uh, let's just uh, risk it. Let's ban the Sifi, because that's his speed. He 
He's going to ban the Armands, which sucks, but we'll go with the speed here. I still have sheep potential with my Sun Wukong, but honestly, I feel like his Warlord is 400 speed. We'll find out right now. All right, maybe not. Okay, we're kind of lucky here. I can't CC the Leorius, so I'm going to have to sheep the Leorius. Okay, so that sheeps him instantly, takes him pretty much out of the battle for the most part. Um, let's see if we can do some damage. Not crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and she uh, sleep him. Do some damage. Okay. Can we kill the Leorius before he takes a turn? Oh, that sucks. Full heat. Full cleanse. Oh, man. Weaken. I think we can kill the Leorius. Okay, that's good. Um, let's try to nuke her. Counterattack sucks. I'm kind of screwed here. Unless I can take a turn. No, he's going to lock. GG's. Uh, well, got a double tap there. All right. All right. Uh, man, we're going to get locked. Ooh, I took a turn before his warlord. How is his warlord so slow? What? He has a slow warlord. Damn. All right. GG's. I thought I was going to lose that. Plus four. With, uh, well, see if he was a good band, right? See if he was a very good band. 20, almost 22 million player power. A plus four Sakia. That's actually insane. Well, GG's. I mean, we survived. He, he couldn't get the lockout off in time. I guess he was just depending mainly on his speed with Sifi. But most players that are up here that's high typically have like a 350 plus speed Warlord. For the most part. Let's do this. Uh, we can used well i can't pick armand's because he wasn't actually used he was banned yeah armand's is absolutely nuts you want to get like 350 speed if you can help it mine's very slow he's going with speed and lockout yeah that's kind of how you beat armand's to be honest i may have to potentially go with ah he might take the rodos i kind of want to go rodos but Maybe I could go Hefrak as well. I might consider doing Hefrak this one actually, because even if he locks out Hefrak, you can't lock his passive to do his AOE in case one of my champions die. So I think that's what we do. Oh God, Lady Kimmy. Okay. Um, we're gonna go Tormund. I mean, I just banned the. I guess I'll just ban her. I mean, either way, he's going to ban Hefrak, but if he does, maybe I get lucky. Can't reduce my speed of my Armands, so that's kind of good. Let's go Tormund. Let's ban the uh, Harima. He could possibly bring in a Leorius, a Ragash. Okay. Weak affinity to my Hefrak. Does he still ban Armands, though? I feel like he bans the Tormund, but yeah, he does. Okay. So Tormund ban, and I'm going to get locked, which sucks. <clears throat> but let's see what we can do. I mean, I was, I was kind of hoping he would ban the Armands and then get um, the freeze against him. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do. Huh. Well, he's going to go super fast. Ragash is going to clap. Um, but can I survive with the stone skin? He could also remove stone skin with Lady Kimmy. That's, the that's true. Damn, dude. He was just got so lucky. Yeah, he, he took a turn. It's over. I did resist though, but I'm going to die though. Oh, I got, I got stunned. That sucks. Increase cooldown. Which ability, though? He's going to take a turn with his Ragash before I take a turn with my Makage. Unless I get lucky here. Oh, you suck. Okay. Oh, he took another turn with Kimmy? Dude, holy moly. Jesus. 
Okay, maybe we can get... Oh, okay, okay, that sucks. We gotta do this. Nice. I can't... I'm locked for three turns. That sucks. I mean, Warlord absolutely demolishes. I mean, he's just a beast. There's nothing I can do there. Huh. Who could I have banned in that situation? Maybe I just ban the Warlord next time. I still have another turn. Now, if I had books in this dude, then I would have been able to get back around to my stun ability. Unfortunately, I don't have books. Which sucks. Hey, he's going to take out my Armands. Oh, he stunned me. No, that sucks, dude. GG's. I just couldn't take a turn. Yeah, my Duchess is way too slow. Way too slow. Okay. And then he stripped the stone skin, so he got lucky there too. Unfortunately. That sucks. What's his name? DJ Jump. Well, maybe next one I'll beat him. He's got the... He picked Arbiter, so I'll probably just take Arbiter from him. Since he's trying to go all speed. Maybe I face him again. No. I think this guy has Armands for sure. And he's going to go first, so he's going to pick Armands. If he has the Armands avatar, I'm sure he has Armands. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go figure. All right, so we're going to go with... Speed. We're going to go against him here. And we're going to pick uh, Mikage. Of course, he has Narciss. I think I'm going to go... Huh. I, mean, I, I think I could still pick Hefrak. Yeah, let's do that. Hopefully, he doesn't pick the UDK. I might go with Rodos next as well. Oh, he's going triple speed? Okay. Uh, I think I banned Narciss. Ban the... Yeah, he might ban my Rotos. No, he banned my speed. Okay. He's going to go first, though. Oh, shoot. I should have banned Armand's because he can sheep. No, I should have banned Armand's. He's just going to go crazy. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I'm faster than him? That's wild. That's wild. All right, I'll take it. GG's. I mean, that wasn't much damage, surprisingly. I mean, he's not built with crazy damage, but it is what it is. Take him out. Armand's gone. Start focusing on her. Let's go ahead and sleep her. Stun. Thank you. And it should be over now. Nice. GG's. Yeah. Good night. 211k damage. Damn! Alright, we'll take it. Rodos is a monster. Hefrak is a monster. 20 mil player power. Alright, we're facing some decent opponents. I think, I honestly thought he was going to be faster. I guess I should not uh, doubt my own speed there. 350 speed on my Makage. I'd like her to be 400 speed, but obviously I don't have the gear, so it is what it is, or extra gear, that is. It's going with Sun Wukong right away. Let's go Armands. Let's go speed. I mean, this could backfire if he throws in a Tormund right now, right away. But little does he know. I can, I have stone skin on Armand, so. Probably going to ban Pytheon right now, because that's the revive with probably stone skin. He probably has stone skin Arbeus as well. Uh, We're going to have to go Sammy because of the red affinity. Yeah, let's do that. Hopefully no Marichka. He could end up going with Mithrala, to be honest. But if he doesn't have speed, then we might be good to go. Let's do this. Let's see what he's got going on. 
I'm actually still, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should pull for Marichka Taras. 35 Void Shards is what I have, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go for the Marichka Taras just because the chances are slim that I actually pull a Legendary. I'm currently at how many Voids? 55 Voids pulled since my last Legendary, which was back in January for a Void Legendary. So I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it, but... All right, so he actually has some decent picks. Uh, I'm probably going to need Foley. He's probably going to ban my Foley. Or I could just go with UDK. Oh, no, I should have. I totally messed up that pick. I'm so stupid. All right, well, that sucks. Um, I fudged that so badly. All he needs to do is ban Samson and it's over. Wow, he didn't ban Samsung. Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> wow. All he needed to do was ban Samsung, and that was a GG's times a thousand. Okay. Well, unless he has all stone skin. Oh, wow. He should have banned Sammy. Wow. Nobody banned Samsung ever. I don't understand. I'll take that. Thanks. And, uh,. Should I sheep? Uh, yeah, let's sheep the... Let's sheep him. And let's do this. Okay. Sleeper. <laughs> nuts, dude. This is absolutely nuts. Okay. Decrease attack. Uh, sleeper. Damn, didn't sleeper. Maybe my Samsung can take another turn. Okay. Try to reduce cooldown. No. Um, she can buff, buff. It can all buff. I would need to... There. No stun. That sucks. All right. Well, <clears throat> hopefully I have my AoE back to... I'm going to remove the buffs. I should be able to take a turn. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Stuns, steel turn meter. I mean, Armand's is just insane. We got petrified, but it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and take out her. Nope. Remove those. Okay, I got. I finally got sheeped, but I don't think it's the end of the world. All right, so now she can change forms, and he's gonna need to place the taunt. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I have to attack her. Okay. They all come back to life. I have to go here, unfortunately. That sucks. So he's going to keep healing with our Baeus. He's going to get a revive. He could actually still win this, potentially. He's going to get a revive here. Okay. Um, does he try to go for the nuke? Nope. If I die, though, I might be screwed. He's going to kill my Armand's. No? Wow. Can I sheep? Oh my god, that's insane. Yikes. Dude, Armand's is nuts. Take out the reviver. Uh, who do we kill first? I think we go after the Rodos, to be honest. Oh my god, I didn't do nothing. I did nothing to him. He can try to nuke. He has increased attack. No, he didn't. Oh, he's going to nuke with Rodos and take an extra turn. Jesus. GG's. Damn. Okay. He might A1 and try to get extra turns. Let's go. He went after him instead. Increase cooldown. He can try to kill me with a sheep. Ooh, he almost got me. No way. 
remove that. Go ahead and take her out. Nice. Stuns. Oh, perfect, dude. Holy crap. We can still win this. We can absolutely still win this. Increase cooldown some more. Oh, beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful. Holy moly. Go back to this form. Stuns. Gee, Jesus. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, Sheep him. Say goodbye. Oh, counterattack. Kill him again. Take him out. GG's. Oh my god. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Samsung doing work, dude. Holy crap. Same with our mons, man. Just absolutely nuts with the CC. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, if this doesn't tell you how bonkers, crazy, strong Armand's is, I don't know what to tell you. Like, he's just so powerful. Like, these fights, I typically, I'd be losing. I'd typically be losing fights like this. But with all that CC, it's it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. And people don't realize that my Armand's is in stone skin, and he's pretty fast, too. So, yeah, that's why stone skin's so good. You know, he's not going to get term meter reducted, right? So, or reduced, I mean. So, no reducing of term meter. He's able to cut in because of the term meter issues. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go speed again. Again, he's going to have to ban someone, but I have triple speed. So, unless they put in Warlord, CV, or someone who can cut in, or Tormin where it forces me to ban the Tormin, then I'm going to pretty much win every time for the most part. But again, see how this goes. He's got a six star on his Sun Wukong. So that is pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. But uh, Pytheon, I think I banned Pytheon again. Just because we can weak hit against Pytheon with our Mons. And he's probably going to be really high with resistance. Like for example, my Pytheon has 700 resistance, so he resists most champions. I usually don't have an issue. Sometimes I'll get no resist because of like Lady Kimmy increasing accuracy, Makage increasing their accuracy on the enemy team. But for the most part, Pytheon that I have, he resists almost everything. Um, UDK, interesting pick. I'm actually surprised that he did that. Huh. I think I'm going to go fully this time because he got Trunda and he's got Sun Wukong. And then I can pick. I mean, if he goes with Duchess, that could be a problem for me, but should be okay. Maybe I go with Rodos and ban the UDK. I just, I don't feel like he's going to be faster than me at this point. Unless he has something insane up his sleeve here, but pretty sure I'll be able to beat this guy. Yeah, Armand's is literally straight up crushes. He's he's nuts. Hegemon. Okay, that's up his sleeve. There you go. Okay, really strong pick. I have to ban the Hedgy. I have to go first. So I still can do ally attack and kill the trunda so that can it's a positive for me or i can stun first and then start doing allies but he's gonna have stone skin yeah i figured he'd have stone skin um he's gonna cleanse he can nuke me down with one hit technically but what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna switch i'm gonna try to attempt to remove and hope that i can remove it from him oh my god that's absolutely nuts right there that is absolutely nuts Oh my god, it's over. GG's. GG's. That's insane. I mean, I really just needed to kill the Sun Wukong and the Trunda, like I said earlier. So, 
didn't even matter that I put the or remove the stone skin. What mattered was the weakens that went on them to do more damage from my foley. So now he's just kind of wasting time at this point. Ooh, he has a damage dealer UDK. Actually very strong. Double stuns. Okay, let's take control of this a little bit. Try to see if we can kill the UDK. Nice, it's over. GG's. Ah, weak hit. That sucks. Go ahead and do ally attack. He should go into ally attack. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice win. Okay. See, Rodos is a beast. Armand's also meta. Doing pretty well. Uh, four wins, one loss so far. Except we haven't fought anybody that's like OP meta, right? I haven't really seen too many of the uh, lockouts or mythical champions. So we're probably going to see Mythicals and Lockout pretty soon. I'm sure people will start popping them out anytime now. Shadow side. Mr. Cable. Let's do it. So he's picking first. He could pick Armand's first. Most people will. Unless he decides not to. Crixia. There's the... <laughs> there you go. There is the first Mythical Champion. I think that's the first one. If I'm not mistaken. So we're going to try to go faster if we can. He's going to go Sifi. Um, hopefully he doesn't take Makage. He could take Makage. If he does, all right, word. So I'm going to go here. He has a plus four Kaimar. So I'm going to go Foley. Um, he actually might be crazy fast, like 400 speed. Easily 400 speed. Um, oh, okay. Okay, half rack with bombs. He, she can spread the bombs. I got to ban Kaimar and hope that she's not like 400 speed over here, which she probably is, but yikes. Let's go ahead and switch this up. Who can I pick to go against him? I mean, the bombs might not kill my Samson, to be honest. Or I could pick Rodos. No! No, 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 no! I wanted to pick Rodos. I didn't have time. Damn it, he just bans my Foley. Wait, what? Why didn't he ban my Foley? I mean, either way, he's going to win because of the bombs and the Crixia lockout and everything else. But, or actually, I banned Crixia. Never mind. How am I faster, bro? There's no way I'm faster than him. That's crazy. That's actually nuts that I'm faster. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, he removed the buff. Okay. I lost. GG's. How did he get the buffs removed? Did he have like a really, really, really lucky blessing? Must have had a super lucky blessing. Yeah. Super lucky blessing. Um, removed the buffs. Or, or he had... Actually, now I think about it. Oh, wait. No, it's it's Tuhana Rock. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Tuhana Rock removes everything, right? Sorry, guys. I'm a little sniffly. That's why I keep sniffing here. Yeah, she removes all the, the random debuffs, so I can't even actually CC her. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. GG's. Can't CC to Hunter Rock. I should have just nuked her into the ground. I should have ally attacked into her, and then... How could I have forgotten about to Hunter Rock like that? That's wild. Completely forgot about that. Damn. Plus the bombs. I mean, if he had Crixia, it would have been over. Might have been over anyways. If I face him again, I'll pick Hefrak. I mean, I'm still going to pick um, my Armands, of course. Maybe I go for the the bomber next time. Maybe I should have sh sheep the bomber instead. Because this Hefrak was really slow. I guess I was just more concerned about Hefrak nuking us to the ground, and I thought I was going to take a turn before his bomb champion. And I also thought I was going to be able to stun the bomb champion, but of course I didn't. So, yeah, because he had his bomb champion going faster than to Hanarok. So, technically, if I stunned the bomb champion, I would have been good because the bomb champion would have lost a turn. So, yeah, unfortunate events happened. It is what it is. I think I'm thinking about it way too much at this point. All right, let's do this. Let's go back into it. 
Hopefully we can get this win this time. I'm actually picking and banning terribly today. Like, people are just not... They're picking and banning worse than me. Because they're not banning my one damage dealer. Or, you know, you know what I mean? So, to be honest, it's just a weird day in general. I think people are just so scared of Armand's taking so many turns. That's why they keep banning him or they keep banning other champions like Makage or Arbiter thinking that I'm just crazy, crazy fast. When in reality, I'm not. My champions are not that fast. So let's see what he's got going on. He's got a plus one Duchess though. <clears throat> okay, Taras. He's probably got Marichka. He's probably got... Uh, he's definitely got Ancora. So at least one of the um the partners there i may need to go speed though to try to cheap stun things like that duchess most definitely has stone skin if he has marichka definitely has stone skin and cora definitely has stone skin i don't see any i don't see anywhere on here polymorph right so i could go bombs but again, if he has Marichka, I'm kind of screwed. So you know what? I'll go with uh, I'll go with another Sheep Champion. So plenty of CC here. We'll try to remove the Stone Skin. Let's try to Sheep Champions as well. So we've got stuns. We've got Sheeps with Armands. We've got Turn Meter Steel. We've got stuns. You know, stuns with Armands. Stuns with Makage. And then we'll go with... Of course, he has Lockout. He could be really fast, too. I think I think I got a Bam Marichka. Then again, he's again Stone Skin here. He could have Stone Skin everywhere now that I think about it. Maybe I go bombs and just try to see if I can bomb him and hopefully not get lost from turn meter because of his temporal chains. He has temporal chains, so that might actually slow us down and kill us based on the buffs we place. It's three stars, but I don't remember how it works. 28% from both these champions, Sun Wukong and Armands. Let's see if he's over 350 speed on his Yumeko. Most people don't put Yumeko in stone skin. Yeah, so I'm faster. <clears throat> so he's not faster than 350 speed. Turn meter reduced as well. Stuns, turn meter reduced as well. Let's go ahead and steal it. Boom, stolen. And then, uh, what do we sheep here? This is a tough one because I can't actually target Yumeko. Hmm. I could just sheep her. Oh, resisted. Okay, so she has 500 resistance. Okay. Well, that sucks. And I'm not fast enough with my Nishak. He's not 250 speed. Let's go ahead and steal everything. Thank you. And let's go ahead and bomb. Boom. Okay. We weren't able to land bombs on the Yumeko, which sucks. Place weakens. She's going to lock out now. I should kill the Duchess, though. Because of the stone skin. Really? What? How did the Duchess not die with stone skin and bombs? I guess it's because I'm negative affinity with Nishak. That's why. That's still kind of nuts, though. So she did get the revive off. Let's go ahead and take him out now. Let's go ahead and sleep her. Well, like, it doesn't really matter. Two bombs there, which is nice. But I think that his champion's going to kill us. I think that... Uh, this guy right here, what's his name? Narciss, White King Narciss. He might win. Unless I can take another turn with my Armands. Maybe Armands can steal turn meter. But she's going to... Oh, wow. She did that. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Narciss is going to kill me. GG's. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. He took one turn, one turn, two turns. 
three turns. Wukong should come back to life, right? Come on, come back to life, buddy. Okay. No, I don't have enough time here. Stunned. Yeah, GG's. Yeah. Well, we tried. That was, that was a close one. Hoping the CC would work, but unfortunately we resisted. They resisted with the Duchess. It, it would have been over if I, the Duchess did not get resisted. So I do need a lot more accuracy. At least, you kind of need 600 accuracy on Armands, to be honest. At least up here, this high up, right? Strong player. Good job, Valor. Uh, I almost had you, though. So we've got, what, so far we got one, two, three, four. Four wins, three losses. Okay. So we're facing a little bit stronger opponents now here. Let's see if we can get a win here. Armand's is still clutch, though. I just, it's my gear. My gear at the end of the day is not the strongest. And uh, unfortunately, if I was able to sheep that Duchess, then they would have lost. So let's see what we've got going on. I haven't really been using Rodos a lot, to be honest. He's just so hard countered up here. I do love Rodos, not going to lie, but I can only use them sometimes. It's like very niche situations, especially if they throw in UDK, super hard countered. Arima super hard counters them. <clears throat> so, a little bit of an issue there. Let's go with Armands and Speed again. Let's do that. I mean, nobody's been putting Torment against me, which I'm surprised. Oh, there's the Rotos. <laughs> I was just talking about that. All right, well, I can do. They're probably going to ban UDK. You know what? No, no, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to go speed, and I'm just going to go with uh, Foley. I'm not even going to worry about... Unless he throws in another speed champion, which is possible, but... I think I banned the CV, though. He probably throws in Duchess, if anything. Duchess, and then another damage dealer, potentially. Or Duchess and Tormen. I can throw in Hefrak now that I think about it. I think I might throw in Hefrak. Hegemon. All right, yeah, we're going to throw in Hefrak. And he did throw in Duchess. Okay. Hegemon's an issue, issue though, for me. He's going to kill pretty much everybody now that I think about it. Plus one on the freaking Duchess, on the Sifi, though. I kind of need to kill Hegi, but... I think, I think I take out the Duchess. Oh, damn it. Okay, that sucks. Well, I lost. Good pick. I, I took out the Duchess because CV usually isn't as tanky as Duchess. Um, and Duchess has the damage mitigation. And I was hoping that uh, Hefrak would stay in the battle. And Hegemon nukes, kills my Foley, and then we win. So now he nukes, block active skills, or straight up kills me. Yeah, so block act of skills. That sucks ass. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, let's see if we can... So we decrease turn meter, which is good. Let's go ahead and do that. And do this. Okay, we are still able to steal turn meter. So we're good. We, we should be fine. We stunned everybody else. Uh, we can sheep the... Should I sheep, honestly? Yeah, let's sheep. Let's do it. And then let's kill him. Oh, wow. Reaction. Okay. GG's. <laughs> Does he kill me now? Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Reaction is a son of a gun, dude. Plus, he has Seafy still, so... Even as a sheep, Seafy still reduces his... Whatchamacallit? Um, his buffs? It's kind of weird. I didn't expect that to happen. It is what it is. I think if I can take a turn, though, before his Rotos, which he might go before me. Oh, Jesus. He's so fast with that freaking six star. You got to be kidding me, dude. So fast. He is so fast. He took so many turns. I shouldn't have sheeped the... See, I should have sheeped the, um, the Rotos. I want to face him again. 
I want to face this guy again. 30 million player power. I should have won. I should have won. I made a mistake. I should have sheeped the Rodos instead of the Sifi. I didn't realize how strong their passive together was, where it would still remove the buffs from Rodos even when she's in sheep form. Shouldn't the sheep mitigate their passives? Like, that doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, maybe playing, maybe that's a bug. Maybe that's a bug. I don't know. Um, but I would have thought that if I sheeped her, <clears throat> it reduces the effects of their passive. I don't know. I could be wrong. Honestly, he also had reaction proc, so it is what it is. So let's see what we can do here. Damn, that sucks. I should have won that. 100% I should have won that. Reaction is so powerful in this game. I wish our clan could be uh, could get more wins in CVC. Over time, it'll happen, but um, it's really tough to get six-star legendary reaction gear, especially the gear that you actually want on specific champions. It just takes a very, very long time to get it. Unless you're in the top clans and, you know, you're kind of just like mooching, but I'm not going to ever do that. King Kyle, let's do it. We're going first here. We're going to go with Armands, of course. Let's do it. I can't believe I lost that, though. That's ridiculous. Next time I know, though, I'll have to sheep the, uh, the Rodos. King Narciss. I'm going to have to sheep her. King Narciss is a problem too. King Narciss has the passive ability which will go through Rodos. I think even without having Ancora on the team, he still goes through Rodos' passive. If I'm not mistaken. That's how strong King Narciss is. I really wish I had the shards to get him, but I, I didn't. I think I'm not, now that I think about it, I'm not going to pull for Taras Marichka because it's not really worth it. I'm probably not going to pull a legendary anyways, so I'm just going to wait for the next guaranteed champion. I'd rather save 110 voids and get lucky with a guaranteed legendary than, say, than pull all of my shards and hopefully get lucky. Just doesn't seem to work. Um, Double speed here. Got Hedgy. I mean, if he puts, yeah, let's let's go with this. Or I could go like this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Does he do UDK? No, he probably does somebody else. Tormund. Stone skin, stone skin. Even if I increase speed, he might freeze these two. I'm not going to freeze him. I can steal turn meter. I can freeze them. I'm going to take a turn first with Hegemon. Yeah, Hegemon and Torment is kind of crap, huh? Let's just go ahead and ban Narciss. <laughs> Let's have him try to squirm around with uh, just the Torment. Let's see how strong his Torment is. Let's make him work for this win. You know what I mean? We'll make him work for it feel like he's definitely gonna need to work hard for this one unless he has a crazy nuke champ here but again if he kills my son who kong i'm nuking so <clears throat> yeah he's clearly not a new champion okay well does he make him go again let's see but if my champion here in arbiter dies then we're kind of sol all right nice hedgy is dead He's going to provoke. Nope. All right. I don't want to do the revive yet. I think I'm just going to do a basic attack here. Try to steal her turn meter now. Let's do that. And then let's try to sheep the Ancora. Okay. Nice. Perfect. And Ancora could take a turn, but then we're going to nuke with our... I think my Sun Wukong is going to go before. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go here. Okay, not a crazy nuke at all because I don't have Savage or Lethal on him. We should be good here. Yeah, GG's. All right. That's all she wrote. Looks like uh, 
he was kind of depending on Narciss there. So, threw him off a little bit. Yeah, Narciss was definitely going to be his main go-to damage dealer there, but I'm like, usually Tormens aren't that strong. And uh, he probably should have done a Provoke, but even so, even if he did a Provoke, like it didn't matter because I have Armands, and he's going to come in and steal Term Reader, start stunning everybody. That's how nuts he is. That's why I love him in the stone skin. It's just, it catches people off guard all the time. That's why Armand's and stone skin is so dirty. Do it. So dirty. He is always going to be my first pick forever. If I can get duplicates of Armand's, oh my god. I want a plus four of this dude. He's so insane. Literally ultimate meta champion right here. Again, this is this is what kills me here. TAO, isn't that one of the strongest clans in the game? Um, Bonfire? Huh. Is this a uh, CC? I don't know. But either way, CV is ridiculous. Um, Narciss is ridiculous, like I said. Um, we're going to go speed again. It's kind of all you can do up here is like you have to... I have to go triple speed because I can't... I won't take a turn. If I use my Duchess... And I don't go speeds, I don't take a turn, and I lose. Almost like 90% of the time. My Duchess just keeps getting clapped. Like, she needs to be at least, either she needs to have like 140,000 HP with like Bolster and everything else. But then again, you got Narciss, so if you have Bolster, completely goes against you. Crixia, oh my god. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um... I think I can use I mean I'm just going to go with Hefrak I guess I could go I, I don't want him to pick Rotos so make him pick somebody else he might go with UDK it's possible well if he goes UDK I just ban Narciss let's see if he makes a mistake I hope he does. Come on, make a mistake. Make a mistake. Or maybe he'll pick Leorius or, you know, who else could he pick? Harima. Harima would actually be a really good pick. Taras. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's nuts. Okay. Uh, Yeah. So, I mean, these two champions here are strong. Taras is insane. Let's just ban the Ancora. Oh, I was really hoping that I can utilize my Armands against him. Good ban. Maybe he's not in Stone Skin on his Seafy. If he's not in Stone Skin on Seafy or his Crixia. Oh, he's going Resist. He's got high resist champions. Wait a minute. Wow, he's fast. Holy crap. 400 speed Seafy. Well, GG's. He might just honestly the best thing for him would be to sleep the sleep the Makage. Oh my god, he's so smart. All right, word. Ah, Jesus. Well. That's well, I went before him. That's interesting. If I don't get feared. Okay. Okay. I mean, he probably still kills me. But I'll then attack him with my uh, Hefrak. But it's not going to be enough damage to kill the Taras. That's the issue. I feel like he's not going to go for the big damage because of he's afraid of my Hefrak. He needs to keep alive his Seafy. So if he kills somebody, yeah. So that was actually really smart of him to do. But we're going to speed up. Oh, he still was able to take a turn. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, Yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> And he's speeding up to nuke. Yep. GG. He wanted to place the de increased defense. Nice. All right. So he's dead, but uh, I don't know if we survive this. All right, so he's dead. He probably nukes my Rotos and it's over. He should kill my Rotos. Wow. He actually didn't. I'm surprised. Can we kill him? 
Counterattacks, dude. Wow. Oh, he went. He went again, dude. My Hefrax too slow. Wow. Counterattacks beat me, dude. Really? Okay, that's cool. GGS. Wow. Counterattacks, man. Thirty point four million player power plus four. Dang, one, two, three, four, five. Five and five, looks like. Yeah, we went five and five, so 50% still. Not crazy. It felt like I was doing better than I thought. Then, uh, But it is what it is. Uh, 1,450 crest, which is not bad. Let's go, where is it? Area bonuses. All right, so we definitely need to upgrade the Hydra. I was focusing on resistance a little bit. But I definitely want to focus on crit damage and ignore defense as well. I think I need ignore defense. Oh, I got to save more. I'm going to focus on ignore defense first and then focus on crit damage. Then I'll finish off with resist and then accuracy um, and attack as well. I definitely need more attack. Um, and then go from there. I'll go with defense and HP last. And What's the next place I'd want to focus on? Not Sand Devil. Well, I don't really need to focus on Sand Devil or Phantom Shogun because I've already completed them. Um, I don't need to focus on Curse. Well, Cursed City would probably be the next best thing for me. The next best thing for most players, actually, now that I think about it. Fire Knight. Definitely Fire Knight as well. Yeah, so the main priority for me would be Fire Knight and Cursed City right after Hydra. Everything else doesn't really matter. Doom Tower, I've already finished it. Iron Twins, I've already finished it. Spider's Den, I've already finished. Dragon's Lay, I've already finished. But I mean, I guess I could focus on Dragon and Spiders, but they're not really the top priority by any means. Also, Ice Golem, I can do a little bit more, but again, not a top priority. Uh, Potion Keeps, I don't care at all. Faction Wars, I don't really care too much. I mean, if I want better speed runs, then I'm just going to go for, I would recommend going for Crit Damage, Speed, Ignore Defense, Attack, and uh in defense or hp based on your nukers mainly you're going to have damage dealers that are attack based in uh, faction wars most likely so yeah ignore defense speed crit damage and then attack would be the main priorities probably for faction wars to speed up speed up your runs but um anywho that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far i really appreciate it please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you so much take care